What's up? It's Chris from Stone Fox Media, and I hope everyone's having a blessed day. Now, I'm going to make a short gaming news video today because I know it's Saturday and everybody has a life. You want to do fun things like go outside while it's still warm. Well, that's okay because winter's coming. Winter's coming. Don't you forget it. Now, let me tell you what's going on in gaming news right now. Now, I have been playing Titanfall 2, the free beta, and I can actually tell you guys it is a lot better than the original Titanfall. It's not as even the same game. Uh, the character doesn't play differently. Uh, it does have less bots than it originally had because the bots were just everywhere. You couldn't even tell who the real game players were and who the bots were. So they actually fixed that. The grappling hook was actually uh, really fun to play with. The Titan was a lot better designed and he did move very quickly. The characters actually moved a lot faster. They weren't like... They actually moved with, with some pretty good speed and very agile. So uh, it is a major improvement over the original Titanfall. I cannot actually wait to play this one because it does feel different. The only thing I've been... Uh, having issues with is uh, I guess you could say the size of the maps sometimes finding uh, other players to, to, to kill isn't necessarily as easy as it was in the other one because there's not as many bots so you gotta search and like where's everybody hiding and everyone's so well camouflaged and uh, it's kind of annoying on that on that standpoint I wish the maps were probably a little bit more intimate but you got gigantic titans running around I can understand why they need to have larger maps so not bad not bad respawn now, let me tell you what else is going on in gaming news. For those of you who are interested in Gears of War 4, it does look like Marcus Phoenix is not playable. You know, like, the franchise leader is not playable. Um, it does look like a, in an actual recent interview with IGN, Chuck, 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 Chuck Norris, he came out there and told people that he is not going to be playable. He is one of the AI characters and he's going to uh, react differently to everything. And basically this whole entire thing is going to focus on uh, Marcus Phoenix's son as a new protagonist. So when you have a game like, say, God of War, lowercase g, um, you have him going out there with his son. And then you got this Marcus Phoenix and his son. It looks like everyone's going with this father and son theme. I don't, I don't know. It's like the... Dad's teaching the boys how to be super cool people, but they probably will never be because they'll never be Mufasa. They'll never be Mufasa. Now, moving on from that news, and this is some Project Scorpio news, Microsoft is confident that it'll deliver true 4K gaming and it intends Scorpio to be a premium product. Let me translate. It's going to cost a lot of money. So in a recent interview with Dual Shockers, Mr. Aaron Greenberg did come out there and talk about how awesome the Scorpio is going to be. It's going to have true 4K gaming and that people who have high-end PCs spend hundreds, thousands of dollars to get 4K gaming. And it's never existed in the console space. See, that's a buildup. That's like, hey, some people spend thousands of dollars for this. That's what he just said. He also went on to say, well, we think about it as a premium product from that standpoint is going to be a very high-end product but we're not going to give any more details about that but what i can tell you that we're excited for the fact that we're going to tell people that we're going to bring a whole new console a whole new range of capabilities blah 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 give me money if everyone had a problem with the 500 hundred dollar price point of the xbox one if you think this thing is going to cost 500 dollars you're probably on something because this thing is going to be a 4K gaming console with six teraflops. This thing is not going to be cheap. You're not going to just buy this thing at Walmart. Well, actually, you will be able to buy it at Walmart. But you know what I'm trying to say. It's not like dollar store prices for this whole entire console. So I'm expecting maybe a range of like $700 to $1,000. It's going to be somewhere in that little box. Uh, so save up. They're going to probably tell everyone well in advance that this thing is going to cost a lot of money. People are going to be mad, so get your saltiness and your anger and your pitchforks and hoes ready because this thing is going to be expensive. And if you think it's not, I, I don't know what to tell you. This thing doesn't even sound cheap. I mean, think about it. Does it sound cheap? This thing is going to be a beast of a machine is what they call it. So the most powerful console ever made. And the most powerful console ever made isn't going to cost the same price as the weakest console ever made, i.e. the Wii U. So... Just figured I'd let you guys know that in advance so uh, you can sell kidneys and stuff like that. Gotta get ready to sell them. I mean, you got two, so you only need one. 
Well, that's all news I got for you guys right now. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. So you know when this news, my news becomes available. Thank you guys for watching. God bless. And I'll holla at y'all later. Thank you guys for watching my whole entire episode. I really do appreciate it. Hit that like and subscribe button. And after that, go to my Stone Fox Media store. Get cool things like shirts, iPhone cases, you name it. Uh, even got mugs. There's nothing in the